In summer of 2021, Nintendo announced a new edition of the Nintendo Switch would be coming to store shelves in October of 2021. And that is the Nintendo Switch OLED on screen behind me here. Hey everyone, Gary here from Rockstar Productions. Welcome, I do hope that you appreciate and learn something from this episode we have here. Now, many of the things that are exciting about the Switch OLED kind of has people raising an eyebrow, especially existing Switch owners, wondering, do I need to upgrade? There's not a whole lot new under the sun here with the Nintendo Switch OLED. Everything that we're hearing is same CPU, same GPU, so no performance update there. We're going to have the same battery, a lot of the same specs from the original Nintendo Switch, the Model 2, which had the better battery life due to optimization of code within the system itself, and now on the Switch OLED. But what if I told you that there are ways that you can unlock features and benefits on the Switch OLED that you as an existing Nintendo Switch owner can take advantage of today? That is what we are going to walk you through here today on this episode on how you can go ahead and get most, not all, but most of the features offered in the Switch OLED today if you are a Nintendo Switch owner. Now, if you are interested in other videos that we have on the Switch, make sure that you go ahead and check out our dedicated Nintendo Switch playlist. And do me a favor too, hit that subscribe button. That way each and every time we upload new content, you are kept the most informed and up to date. Now, just being completely transparent here, I've actually pre-ordered one of these. So I intend on unboxing it and doing a full-blown review of it here on the channel. So it's another reason you'll want to subscribe. So that way, when we do release that video in October, you're kept the most informed and up to date. But we're gonna go ahead and walk you through several of the items you can already get or improve upon and you don't have to spend 350 bucks. Let's get started. One of the biggest improvements about the Switch OLED is in the dock itself. The fact that it now features a hardwired ethernet connection. But you know, that's actually been available for the Switch for some time. Both the folks at Charge N Pro and Brook Gaming offer Nintendo Switch docks that have integrated the ethernet port right into them. Now, both are also considerably smaller than what the original one is, so you have a lot easier time carrying these and transporting these if you are gonna take them with you. Now, neither of these include an AC adapter. We do highly recommend you stick with the OEM Nintendo adapter on that. But these are extremely small, lightweight, and functional, and allow you to go ahead and still have that ethernet connection, like what you see here, but for a fraction of the cost. And what's great about both of these, on the Stingray, not only do you get the ethernet port, but you also get USB-C, USB 3.0, and 2.0 ports. Word is that on this, you actually lost a USB port. And then on the Brook Power Bay with ethernet, the, this thing's just so cool. It looks like a mini GameCube. It has GameCube ports on the front, USB ports on the front, and that ethernet port on the back. These are both some great ways that you can already go ahead and get ethernet in your Nintendo Switch. Next up, let's talk about some of the stylistic changes and additions that have been made to the Nintendo Switch OLED. The biggest thing is you have a white dock and the Joy-Cons are white as well. Now, you can actually already do that. I've shown you how to do that here on the channel. I will have that linked for you right up there. There's a number of companies that offer kits that you can go ahead and make your Switch look pretty much however you would like, including, I call this the Stormtrooper look with the white on white and everything here. I've had my Nintendo Switch with this set of Joy-Cons and a white back on them since 2018. So Nintendo's just kind of catching up. And one other benefit on my left Joy-Con, if you can see, there are some kits that let you replace the up, down, left, right buttons with a traditional D-pad. And on the right one, you can get different color buttons too, like this one looks like a Nintendo Famicom controller. So you don't necessarily have to wait if you are looking just to get a different color switch. You can achieve this now. You can even achieve the different look on the faceplate too, with like the folks from Extreme Rate have different looking panels for the front of your Switch dock itself. They also carry a number of the different Joy-Con and system back colors too. So this is one of those things you don't have to wait, you can take advantage of right now. 
While most of the internals of the Nintendo Switch OLED remain exactly the same from our previous models, including the one that I have feeding this right here, there is one significant change. The onboard storage has been doubled from 32 gigs to 64, and that is a nice improvement. I won't say huge, but it's nice. See, with some games on the Nintendo Switch, you couldn't even install them with the stock 32 gigs of storage because there just wasn't enough storage. What did you have to do? A micro SD card. Now you can go out and get a 64 gig micro SD card, 128, 256. You can get all the way up to a one terabyte micro SD card, not necessarily just for the Switch, but any micro SD card will work on this. And then you have truly almost unlimited sort of storage. Now, there is also the cloud storage available for Nintendo for some of your, your saves and backup data and things like that, but that really doesn't help you when you're trying to play games on your Nintendo Switch and you're looking for extra storage. It's one of those, for the cost of $50 upgrade right now from $299 to $349, for $50 you could get 128 to 256 gigabyte micro SD card and have a lot more storage storage and honestly not have to spend 350 bucks to be able to do so. And even with the Switch OLED with only 64 gigs of onboard storage, you're going to want to pick up a micro SD card. Next up is something that I had to kind of think about, you know, is this something that the Switch OLED kind of has to itself or can you do better already? And you can actually do better already. The Switch OLED comes with enhanced speakers and enhanced audio right out of the box. So just the speakers built into the unit, no contest, they are going to be better. At least that's what Nintendo is claiming. But how often are you going to be playing your Switch or Switch OLED or even the Switch Lite without headphones in if you're not playing in TV mode? I rarely play my Switch without some sort of headphone plugged in. And there are a number of different companies that make Bluetooth adapters that'll plug right into either the side or the bottom of your Switch if you are playing in handheld mode, so that way you can have basically Bluetooth audio and use your day-to-day -day headphones. Like I have my Raycons here, they do a decent job. I like the bass, that's the one thing. They are really, really good sounding on the bass side. And kind of like I mentioned earlier with the uh, Brook Gaming Power Bay, this has built-in Bluetooth too, so you can connect it to wireless headphones, which is great. Now, it doesn't help you in handheld mode, but uh, Skull & Co and other companies have very similar to like these little dongles here that you can go ahead and plug in the bottom or on the dock of your Nintendo Switch and use your Bluetooth headphones too. 82P protocol on these guys, so it'll work with practically any headphone that you have. Joy-Cons to Sony to Samsung to Google, even those Apple AirPods, you'll be able to use those wirelessly and still have the benefit of enhanced audio. So there you have it, my tips on how you can go ahead and get Switch OLED performance or better now and not have to shell out for an entirely new system. Now there are a few things that you will need the Switch OLED to really take advantage of. That larger display, completely granted, there is no way you can fake that. But if you're playing in TV mode, that OLED display doesn't do you any good. I mean, you're, you're going to get what you get. And word is that if you really want the Nintendo OEM dock that the Switch OLED comes with, Nintendo's gonna sell that separately. So you will be able to take advantage of the built-in Ethernet port and everything else if you want to stay with OEM Nintendo components. Otherwise, like I say, Charge on Pro, Burke Gaming, they all have these accessories for you today. And, like I mentioned, you can get the different colors and you don't even need to just settle for white or blue and red. You can actually get pretty much any color under the rainbow that you would want to go ahead and make your Nintendo Switch look like. You can get cases that look like the NES or the Super NES, in fact. Why they never did the N64? Get to work on that extreme, right? An N64 case and Joy-Con shells 
for the Switch. That'd be pretty cool. Now, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to leave them down below in the comments section. You can also go ahead and email me if you have any questions at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Twitter at Rock Solid Studios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, if you are looking to pick up any of these items, I will have a link down below in a pinned post to my Amazon affiliate store, and I have links to all of these products and a whole lot more that you can go ahead and check out and take advantage of these things for your existing Switch and not have to wait. Now, one thing I will say, between the different color cases, between the docks, the Bluetooth audio adapters, if you buy those, and a Switch now, you're going to spend more than what the Switch OLED is. The Switch OLED, if you have, if you don't have a Switch currently, it is a good value. I can't say that it's not because it simply is, but if you already are invested in the Switch ecosystem, there is no compelling reason, at least from my standpoint, to go ahead and rush out day one to get this, unless you just absolutely have to have that seven inch OLED display. Above and beyond that, you can get all these features already for your existing hardware. Now, if you are looking to pick up some Nintendo Switch games or games for a PS4, PS5, Xbox, controllers, accessories, and more, make sure you head on over to CastleManiaGames.com. The cool thing over there is this feature called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. Plus, you can use promo code RACKSOLID10 to save 10% off of most items on the website. Now. I do want to thank you all for checking this out. If you do want to see any of our other Switch videos from like how we installed this to how the, you know, the string array works or the Brook Power Bay or anything along those lines, those videos will be coming up for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksolid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.